Feral spats over feral cats. Welcome to Today the Savo. Today we'll be bringing you into the world of conservation science, the so-called animal lovers whose only job is to murder three billion cats in Australia. Everyone looked at me like I was some kind of idiot. Like many Australians, I was shocked to discover that we are no longer allowed to let our cats into the wild. In this day and age of political correctness, even our pets' basic freedoms are being curtailed. Long gone are the days of letting our wonderful, vicious murder machines roam free, as the Anzacs would have wanted. Yep, we were running around the middle of nowhere, absolutely killing everything we could see. I've never had more fun in my life. But should they have the right to come into our homes and literally tear the cat out of my three-year-old's hands and stuff them in a duffel bag? I don't think so. I remember the first time I swear we made eye contact, and then I just knew. I knew I wanted more. But inner city street cats say that more conservative rural cats are giving them a bad name. I'm from the city, and I just think I'm a bit different from all the others in rural towns. I don't want to be lumped in with the others, that's unfair. I know he's from the other side, but I'm somewhat of a scientist myself, so we understand each other. Despite this crazy cat's whinging, it's the proper rural battlers who cop most of the brunt, and they are starting to fight back. Spurred on by the success of the Emu War, some rural cats are taking up arms and fighting back. I'm going to fight anyone who comes on my land. Man or monkey, can't tell the difference anymore. I've got tigers, lions in my genes. So we're actually going to kidnap one of the so-called scientists. In terms of crimes, we've only got experience in uh, cat burglaries, but many people don't know a lot of those skills are directly transferable. Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Oh God, I'm so scared. There's so much pressure. It's hard to work to a deadline. Do you want to end up on a doormat? Shut up and work. I'm not me. You are Mitch! I'm not you Mitch! You are Mitch! <laughs> mm, truly an interesting debate. It is always good to see both sides coming to the table, or at least walking up to it. Now that the experts are finally listening, maybe there will be an end to the un-Australian political correctness gone mad. Patrick's always been a bit of an arse. Yeah, Patrick's always been a bit of an arse. Patrick's always been a bit of an arse. Ooh, I'm Patrick. I'm Patrick. Ooh, I'm Patrick. I'm Patrick. I'm from the city. I'm Patrick. 